New construction bills are set to crash the housing market, according to this guy. This guy also did say in the same exact video that he was in that he didn't know when that was. Here it is. There is gonna be a deluge of inventory of both new and existing homes that's gonna cause frenzy and havoc in the housing market when it comes. When is it gonna come? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jeremy Nathan I your favorite awesome realtor. Now look, this video isn't set just to beat up on this guy, but I feel like if you're watching his content and watching these crash videos, there's some pieces of the pie that are missing. I feel like if you're watching his videos, he's telling you to look at small pieces of an overall larger pie like this. Take a look at 2021, everyone. Population growth on the West Coast in America was only 35,000 below the long-term average of like 600 to 800,000. Now we're only down to 35,000 on the West Coast. Meanwhile, we're building 400,000 homes. The Midwest is the same situation as is the Northeast. And so what you need to do is be able to look at the whole pie, because right now you're only cooking with sugar and a couple cherries. Let me fill in the rest of the pie so you can make up an informed decision on what will happen in the market, because I do have some predictions of my own what's going to happen in the market towards the end of the year, and I will be a little bit bold on my predictions. And guess what? My prediction might actually shock quite a few of you. And those people that are gonna be writing in the comments that I'm just a realtor and I make money off of selling homes and I'm gonna to tell you forever the market's going up, well, you might want to pay attention to this video because I have some important knowledge for you as well. And for everyone that likes to drop comments about the market, please do that. I want to hear from you. What do you think is going to happen? Are you in the situation where you're buying a home? What are you seeing? And I want to hear from you. Drop a comment. So if we look at what he said in his video, he went on and talked about that the amount of population is decreasing and the amount of new builds is increasing, which means that we are going to have a crash. He compared it to 2008 several times. Well, he Here's some important data that he did not show you. In fact, I feel like when you look at some of these videos that you get kind of sleight of hand, look over here, but don't look over here. So here's the data that's really important that he is not showing you. And this is very, very important. If you look at this graph, this is the average buying age of a home buyer. It's 33 years old. And if you look at this, we're here and we're actually set to increase in the buyer age over the next few years. In fact, it really doesn't decrease for a while. So if you're gonna look at his data, which is just the fact that the population is decreasing and that new builds are building. So that means that we are set for a crash. Well, you're being misguided, right? You need to see the full piece of the pie. I think this is really important. So why would you think that like BlackRock, all these other companies are going out and buying up all these homes in mass, right? The the reason why they're doing it is they know that that buying age is in function right now. It's happening right now and they're turning you into renters. Yes, that sucks. And I agree with you. I hate that. I don't like that. And me as a realtor, what's really tough right now is this market is very low inventory. In fact, if we look at this graph for last year, it shows you what inventory was. We are actually set to be low that right now. I think when the January's numbers come out next week, we'll probably be 0.3 of a month inventory. We're right now we're at 0.5. And as a realtor right now, it it sucks in this market. So for all of you that think that we love it and we're gonna say the market's going up forever, well, you can drop your comment, but you are 100% wrong. I would actually much rather see another four or 5,000 units on the market, because guess what? I have a lot of VA, FHA buyers, investors, a lot of people just sitting around waiting for properties at the market. We're pounding doors, we're looking for off-market deals because there's nothing on the market. And so that is gonna relate to this new construction inventory, and we're gonna talk about that because I do think the new construction inventory will make a big dent in our market, and, I, and I'm 100% real about that. In fact, here's what's crazy is that the Bloomberg uh, writer that came out he actually, we walked around, his initial article was gonna be about the amount of inventory for new builds crashing the market in 2022. If you read his article, he said, hey, inventory could be a problem, but it was, his whole article changed. Why? Because this is what you're missing too. It's one thing to hear the data side of it and look at the data side of it, you need the boots on the ground. Now, I'm not telling you I'm right, I'm not telling you he's wrong, but what I'm telling you is you need the full piece of the pie to make an informed decision. Here's what I'm seeing in the market right now with a lot of these new builds right now. These new builds are taking a year plus to build now. They don't have supplies. The supply chain is causing them to not be able to build an efficient amount of time. So now what they're having to do, and this is where I think could be an issue with inventory in the future, they're taking their new construction, their, this is 
why you're seeing such a huge spike in uh, the amount of permits is and starts is the fact that they're taking this inventory, they're pre-specking it out, they're trying to build it, and then when they get to a certain point, they actually put it up for sale, but they're doing it very slowly. So they're, they're keeping prices increasing without flooding the market with new inventory. So really, if you look at it, the inventory just isn't quite coming up right now. And with the amount of low inventory we have in the market, that's a huge problem. Now, look, a lot of these FHA, VA buyers that are sitting on the sidelines, they're waiting. So as this new build inventory does start to pop and come available, a lot of these FHA, VA buyers are gonna jump into that. As we start seeing more inventory hit the market, yes, we will start to see a leveling of the prices. So I'm not gonna tell you the market's gonna go up forever in 2022, but even Zillow, Zillow said, at their beginning that it was gonna be 11% growth for the entire market. Now they're saying we were wrong, it's 16%. Why? They did not. They anticipated more forbearance hitting the market. They anticipated more inventory being available and it's so much lower than they anticipated that they are having to adjust their numbers. And so that's why I think you as a buyer, when, when he says that but this is great news to buyers, that the market's gonna crash, but then tells, doesn't tell you when, well, if you're gonna sit and continue to wait, that could be a problem. Now, I'm not telling you to buy, but what I'm saying is if we look at this inventory from last year, and then we look at this, which was the pricing from last year, we'll see a dip. As inventory increased, we start to see a dip in prices and come down. In fact, it was about a 10% correction last year. I think we are going to see the same thing this year. So if you're a buyer that's FHA, VA, or an investor, you might wanna wait until August, September to buy. Now. Again, you're the, the people that say realtors are just trying to make money. They're trying to tell you the market's going up for crazy. I, I, I'm in a position, I'm telling people to wait. Now, here's the problem with waiting though, is if you are one of those people, is that interest rates are increasing. Where they're gonna go, I don't know. Sarah Morris came on my channel and Sarah said that towards the end of the year, rates will come back down. But the thing is, if we look at the inventory from 2008, which this guy's saying 2008, 2008, 2008, I get it, 2008 sucked. Here's the inventory, 3.7 million available homes. Now let's look at this. We're way down here, 1.2. So it's gonna take a lot of inventory from these new builds to actually make a dent. So I think we do see inventory coming back up to about 1.3 month inventory towards the middle of the year. Prices will come back down. The challenge is gonna be for you as a consumer, what is that interest rate between now and then? And how high do prices get between now and then? Because if you look at the beginning of the year, last year, we were around this number, 455 and then went up to 575. That's crazy. And then the drop was only about 20 grand. So here's the thing is that price from the beginning of the year to that dip was still pretty significant, like that pricing. So if you're going to be waiting, what are the prices? That is the issue. So I think you really need to understand that the buying age is right now. Like we're having a, a huge influx of buyers buying. That is why demand is still so high. Yes, interest rates suck, I agree. I'm one of those investors that is under contract on a property that was supposed to close in November. Now it's, I mean, we're not even to sheetrock yet. And we started in March of last year. So a lot of consumers are sitting there and they're just seeing their monthly mortgage go up and up and up. They're seeing their rent costs go up and up and up as they wait for their new build to be done. And so I think this is why you need to really pay attention to the full piece of the pie. Now, yes, you're seeing population decrease and you're seeing new builds increase and you're seeing this x-axis that he's talking about, but what you're not seeing is the amount of actual buyers in the buyer market. And I think that's really important. I think my prediction is that prices do decrease towards the end of the year because we start seeing more of this uh, new build inventory in the Austin area. Now, I'm not saying about the whole market. I'm speaking about the Austin area in general. What happens towards the end of this year? I don't know. We're in election year. Things go crazy in election year. What happens in 2023? Well, if we're BlackRock and we're looking at the stats that there's more 33-year-old buyers available in the next three years, I think you're sitting pretty knowing that maybe 15 years from now is when you're going to start, maybe 10 years from now is when you start unloading your stuff. So 10 years from now is when you'll probably see craziness happen in the market. One other thing to think about is the fact that a lot of builders have iced out investors from buying their properties. Now, me as an investor, I would actually rather buy a new construction home than a 30-year-old home. So as this new build inventory gets to a certain point, some of these builders may have to say, hey, we're going to have to open back up to 
investors. And so that's where some of this inventory that is going to hit the market, VA, FHA, and investors are going to jump on this inventory. So that's something to think about as well. Yes, we're seeing more inventory, but these investors will jump on it. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Jeremy Knight at the Knight Group. Am I that crazy realtor that says, hey, you should keep buying and always buy, 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 buy? Well, drop a comment below. We'll see you in the next video.